We are exploring the South Fork of the Yuba River again today. Last time we were up checking out emerald pools and actually we found an area which we are gonna call the middle emerald pools because there's a lower emerald pools, there's also an upper emerald pools, and we made it to neither of them. So, today, in a different section of the Yuba River, South Fork Yuba River, there is some legendary swimming holes, Lemke's Lagoon, uh, Hoyt's Crossing, a bunch of places that have names, and then there's a ton of other side trails down to this beautiful Blue River that aren't named, which it looks like you can't go wrong exploring any of the nooks and crannies of this beautiful river. Looks like the parking lot fills up quickly. It's definitely a popular spot. So we're just gonna go to the furthest point that we can make it to today. Hopefully that's Lemke's Lagoon. And it's supposed to be a nice big swimming hole with some jumps up to 50 feet. So we're looking forward to that. Just saw two naked dudes cliff jumping. Um, subscribe to my Patreon if you wanna see that video. JK. How many naked men have you seen cliff jumping today? Just two. Okay, so far. Not enough. Not enough, whoa. <laughs> it's what clothing you... optional. <laughs> what does that mean? Not enough. What means you wanna see? Apparently, my wife wants to see more naked men cliff jumping. Uh, I think that counts as cheating, guys. What do you think? Apparently, this is a nude beach my wife is taking me to. There's some nudism happening on this river, and I find it ironic because there's also a lot of poison oak on the trail. And take it from someone who has experienced the old poison oak on the Not a good combination. So, uh, nude beach, poison oak, these people have no fear. You have my respect, poison oak ridden nudists. So we made it to Lemke's Lagoon. It is way warmer than Emerald Pools. Probably because it's not so close to the dam with that fresh snow melt release. South Fork Yuba River, Lemke's Lagoon, this place is paradise. This water is so warm. Beautiful jump. I read it was 50 foot, but it's more like 25, if that. So, I don't know who was jumping from 50 feet around here, but not sure where they were jumping from. love about this spot is that there's only one other couple here there was probably a hundred cars at the trailhead but right now pretty much we have this place all to ourselves there's two other really cool people just chilling jumping kicking it Lemke's Lagoon it's a must stop must see South Fork Yuba River here in Northern California sun's starting to go over the ridge now so it's tough to see even with goggles. It's like a mile and a half from the trailhead. Goes up a little steeper. Totally worth it. I don't know why most of the people hang out down there when you can do something all by yourself. But like I said, there's lots of little nooks and crannies. I feel like I have a booger hanging out. Let me know in the comments below if I have a booger hanging out of my nose right now. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies to explore. It's a lot warmer than Emerald Pools. I'm gonna kick it here and probably hike back before it gets dark. Mile and a half. Just lamping. 
just lamping on the South Fork Yuba River. Just chilling, just kicking it. Not too bad. Pretty infamous day. Get out there, find your adventure, and be infamous. Infamous.